wonderful good morning everybody and welcome back here to our channel um today we are continuing playing blue white control not only because last time around we 5-0'd um but also because i think that it is just better positioned from a mainboard perspective because um, although titan decks are of course very prevalent and very good the new underworld bridge combo deck that we've already been talking about um has kind of taken over the format and there you do want to have graveyard hate uh you do want to have options like rest in peace to just shut them down um or of course leyland of the void but that is just a little bit more luck based um, and Terminus, etc. for all the decks that are running Croxa is also pretty good. Path to Exile, of course, as well. And then uh, there is Narset as a lock piece, Teferi as a lock piece. So a lot of good things going on here. And then Cyborg Wise. Um, so I put the two sons, uh, Elspeth's Sons Nemesis here to the sideboard. I think, despite really being good in the deck and being well rounded, um, I do not want her in every matchup, and therefore, in sideboard, she's pretty good, both as a win condition as well as uh, just a value engine. Or even against Burn or whatever. Alright, we're on the play. I'm gonna keep a little bit awkward uh, with our Mage Charm in hand, but. We might be able to do it. Thoughts is uh, could of course be anything. Could be a shadow build. Could also be a John player here. If he's taking the force of negation, I'm expecting a turn two, ren and six, but the sensor will protect against that, of course. Again, so a couple of people asked me, and I've been actually been pretty happy with the sensor main here. Of course, it's not always a hard counter, but that's also not what what I was looking for. Like we have so much top end counter bounds, whatever effects. All right, so it's jund, I assume, because otherwise, uh, probably wouldn't have taken this. And this also means that I probably want to go and search for another blue source here. Yep. Uh, in order to um, get the Archmage Charm online, potentially. Well, that doesn't look like a Ren 6. Well, this is something um, that I've actually also experienced a lot. There are quite a few decks, like just straight up Rakdos decks running around right now uh, that are trying to just utilize Croxa. And it's, yeah, see? And it's really, really difficult to beat these decks main board with Grixis. You must play Cling to Dust or whatever. Uh, in order to uh, get something going there. I'll let this resolve without uh, Archmage Charm and just pitch the Force of Negation here. That does have a little bit of a drawback because I am not protected against um, potential removal spell here.
Great. All right, so only down a little bit here in terms of card advantage. Ooh. Does have on Earth though. So I could be looking for no well, path is probably pretty good. So do I path the dog confident? Yes I do. Lands are not as important to him anyway, and he also needs to have another card in the graveyard first. Plus, apparently he doesn't have any more basics. Interesting. No play by opponents. And, well, I think I'm going to wait one more turn here. The Sixth Sanctuary puts... I could actually also put the uh, Path to Exile back on top. For that Croxa there. Yeah, that is probably what I want to do. Because then I can still tap draw or bonus draw or whatever, or just draw a card with our mage charm, and then next turn untap and have to ferry on the field plus um, a counter spell up. That's also why I didn't play the Teferi right now. So definitely want to protect that one. And in these types of matchups, of course. Um, Elspeth is just really, really good. Like, really, really good. Okay, so this, 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 this. And then we're going to draw a card. <clears throat> because uh, Elspeth kind of counteracts the Season Pyromancer activations. Yep, and this is exactly what I had been planning for. So typically I would like to go with... I think I'm just going to exile it, right? If he does have another land, then he can play the Kroxa, but I don't really care about that. So I'm going to cast this, exile the Dread Boar, keep my Teferi alive if possible. And then he can go with Kroxa, but we already have a path. Yeah, this is a Croxa, and this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, the meta is really, really, really becoming grindy right now, plus there's just a whole lot of Croxas in here. Damn it. Alright, let's kill something. I think I'm strip mining him here at this point. Yes, I am. Therefore, I could be doing it again, but I think I'm just going to go 2, 1, 2, yeah, going to do it again. Because this um, makes it a lot harder for him to actually cast that Season Pyromancer there.
So beginning of combat. See you. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to draw two guards. Play in this. Kill that one. Take this. Draw a card. Play Terminus. No, not play Terminus. Um, because of the season pyromancer so mainly. I could have also gone, of course, attacking with the colonnade here and then untap it by the end of the the game with Teferi there. But so so I think Narset not great in here. Force negation not great in here. Not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. Okay. So I want to have this. Wanna have this, wanna have this. Probably also wanna have Core Firewalker. Mm. And then I could be thinking about Elspeth, but recipes is actually what I wanna have. So I can't really do both, can I? Uh, but at this point, of course, the colonnades become our only win condition. Aside from snap beats. That might be a little bit too fragile. But maybe we can also just... Make our opponent lose interest in playing the game. All right, got two rest in pieces in hand, which is very problematic for our opponent. Don't have a ley line. Like, if this were to be a ley line and we had a white source, then it would probably be the perfect hand. But this way, we still do have to put some work in to get there. I love touching cards. Don't know why. Just makes me feel good. So let's see if you do have two discard spells here in a row and can get rid of both rest in pieces. If he does, of course, like if both rest in pieces are gone. Um, okay. Interesting choice. These decks are also running Lightning Skelemental. <clears throat> Just so you know. Right, dog confident here, uh, regaining a little bit of what he was missing in terms of value. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna cycle here. Hmm. 
our opponent's already getting dangerously low, so potentially we could also go with a Snapcaster Mage plan. But um, we of course really would like to have... Get a white source. And uh, get a rest in peace down right now. Plague Engineer, interesting inclusion. That is not what I was looking for. But it is okay in the way that we could potentially, of course. Uh, field push doesn't do anything. Um, that we can get a white source out of that field of ruin. And knowing about the fail push, of course, I'm not going to play the Snapcaster Mage here. Interesting. He knows that we only have the cryptic command in hand. And if I were him, I would definitely go for life gain mode. But I guess that's fine. All right, and so oof. not really getting a whole lot better here. He could have, of course, also just waited one more turn, but I think if we are able to get um, a snap or a fire walker to stick. And of course, that uh, that confidence just a liability for our opponent. Would actually be great if we were to draw a removal spell here. Yeah, I fucking do it. Oh man. Oh, man. And he's just topping lands here. So ransack the lab, of course, helps a whole lot, just in terms of uh, card selection. And I assume that he took as many removal spells as he can get. Ah, oh, he's down to 8. Like, he shouldn't have too many more lands in his deck. Um, yeah. Rest in peace. Yes. I would. All right, so at least gotten rid of that dark confident, and now our opponent still needs to find pressure. And the pressure. <clears throat> That seems to be a uh, Season Pyromancer. Which will be discarding Fail Push and Collective Brutality. Interesting.
All right, so opponent still does have a pretty slow clock here. Best case scenario for us, of course, finding some sort of poor firewalker. And another dog confident. My goodness. Ah, this really hasn't turned out great in terms of drawing things. I wouldn't have fetched there. Uh, that is... And draws a land again. Great. But that's insanely risky. Dude. You for real? So... I think if I draw a removal spell or anything, basically, <laughs> actually, a Snapcaster Mage or a Kofi Walker would be straight better. And now I just need a, uh, a Cryptic Command, dude. You gotta be. This can't be a lot. Not that I'm confident, and each player discards a card. They're confident, so do you win? <laughs> Does have a crux as well. Uh, that's what I call extremely lucky draws. Extremely lucky draws. All right, so uh, I think Leylands are just going to go here. That is a little bit too annoying. Teferis are coming in, and Elspeths are also coming in, just in case. Ah, I, th I still think it's the correct sideboard, sideboard plan here. Going after the graveyard and then either sticking a, uh, a planeswalker or what a horrible hand, dude. Okay. So bad, so bad. He didn't take out the Cruxus, although they're like basically dead cards here. He saw what I boarded last game. I would have taken out the Cruxus a hundred times, but. Probably winning him the game here. Ransack the lab. Probably just taking the land there. Yep. Probably has to take the cryptic command here. Snapcaster Mage not doing a whole lot. 
interesting pick. I'm going to play the snap. Goodness gracious. Uh, mainly because of the colonnade uh, being another win condition here, so. Collective Fertility. Wow, so well played. So I know if I go, I, I have to go with the colonnade tapped here. And I'm pretty sure that he's drawing a, a land off the top now. Oh, what do you have, friend? Oh, Liliana is also not great for us. On the plus side, though, uh, many cards are good right now. There we go. Crocs are coming in, and I cannot, honestly, cannot believe it. But we have, like, our outs are three Termini, two Snapcasters, a Celestial Purge, four Path to Exiles, and potentially, like, all right. A cryptic command or two to just uh, buy a turn. Yeah, so all that effort here. He's killing it. All right, that's fair. That is fair indeed. So I'm gonna put the Terminus back on top. Or am I? What's better than the Terminus here? Like I put him down to six. <clears throat> Is a cryptic command, or would a cryptic command be better? Yeah, he still has to go for the Croxa because uh, this signals that he didn't draw a removal spell, otherwise he could wait for it for one turn. <clears throat> 
And of course, additional copies of Kroxa won't cut it right now. Plus, he probably doesn't have too much removal left in his deck. At least instant speed removal. And Plague Engineer also not cutting it here. Since it's still a three turn clock, unless you have a bolt. A uh, two turn clock, of course. Now one turn. All right. Kept him in, in the game here. I um, quite a lucky top deck there. All right. Good job. All right. Welcome back to round number two. And I don't know what's going on today, Moto, but this is not working out great. So we're going to keep... Um, I think I'm just going to pitch an island here. All right, playing against some tribal strategy, potentially humans, and does not have an ether vial. So Mystic Sanctuary at some point probably becomes good, but uh, Ithalia would be really horrible for us here. So by the way, I got back the Supreme Verdict, so for all those who won her last, game, last time, um, why I was... Um, my god. While I was playing Wrath of God instead of Supreme Verdict, it is due to the fact that I just sold out of Supreme Verdict when Pioneer came around. Not because it's a better card. Yeah, so up until now, it's going absolutely horrible. Really have to rely on a Terminus to get back into this game. Well, he's probably going to name now Supreme Verdict, that's fine. And, yeah. So we're being, being attacked by f for five here. That is not good. Opponent actually missing a, a da point of damage here. All right. Mm. No sets. Yeah, like if we don't draw a cryptic, uh, not a cryptic, a terminus off the top, I don't think that we there's any chance we're running this. I'll probably have like two more turns, like this one and one dish. No, just an extra. So it has to come off the top. Almost dying this turn already. Absolutely bonkers and here by our opponent. And couldn't get there. 
There's no card that I can get with no reset that wins me the game from here. So this is going out, going out, going out, going out, going out, going out, going out. Um, Celestial Purge is actually something that I could be considering here. I'll force one to add the verdict. Yeah, let's put in Celestial Purge as well, just because we don't have a whole lot of good stuff going on. Here, Jace is probably straight up more important than Teferi. Uh, well, and you can see, me, despite me playing... <sighs> That's not a good hand again. Pretty slow. Pretty reliant on that Supreme Verdict. To do basically anything. And this time it's going to be a while, right? All right, champion of the parish. So a very aggressive start by our opponents is going to be coming in. Um, I'm mainly looking for lands, actually, like, uh, just so I can potentially at some point get down that Supreme Verdict. Because if, if I cannot do that, then I'm really fucked. There is a vile. Well, that is at least slows him down, unless he has... Well, Noble Heart is also pretty good. Okay, so this is amazing because of two reasons. On one hand, of course, just because we get rid of his early pressure. On the other hand, though, my opponent now doesn't know that I'm actually playing Supreme Verdict as well. And here I would rather have rather gotten my sideboard. Yeah, he's not gonna name opt, so I guess this is fine. Path to exile, sure. Mm. I'm gonna put this to the bottom. Uh, the snap is not bad, of course, but I actually want to draw a land. Uh, we've opted three times with two lands in our opening hand, and we're just not like getting anywhere. <sighs> we've seen more than 20 cards by now, and 24 land deck. And now he's taken the Supreme Verdict, but the Celestial Purge, of course, can deal with the Kites of Free Water. Interesting pick. So I assume another meddling mage is coming down. Yeah. Well, the Elspeth nonetheless would have been my my last choice, basically. Because now, well, terminus. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
so. Does anything change? I do not think so. I actually really don't want to have the Norse set, but... Oh, it's still better than a lot of the other stuff, so...
to round number three and yes, so now you should be hearing me again. I do not know what happened. It was not a problem with my program. It was uh, the microphone somehow just silenced itself. So I'm very sorry for that. It was a an insane last turn there. And yep, we got lucky. Eldrazi. I think I want to have a Snapcaster Mage with Eldrazids. Eldrazids. All right, Meta Reshaper, like, just in case I'm drawing, or I'm not drawing a Terminus here. I'm going to go ahead and path it. Yeah, and that's what you will see even out of Eldrazitron. This could be Eldrazitron, by the way. Um, they're going green as well, just to, due to the fact that Once Upon a Time is so strong with Eldrazi and Colors Lands, and you know. Yeah, so it is Eldrazitron indeed. And we need to counter stuff. Alright, so now we can also activate. In Mystic Sanctuary, if need be. So I'm going to counter draw here because I really don't like matter reshapers. So Celestial Colonnade, of course, is a pretty good roadblock to that Man Ray Shaper. But I would also like to... Uh, maybe I'll save that Field of Ruin for a utility land down the road. And I, although I don't like the randomness of Terminus, I do like, you know, having the... Um, proportions just or probability just um, increasing throughout the game drawing it and calculating uh, how likely it is to actually get there so yes I'm gonna go with field of ruin just in case like he's not attacking not doing anything then I'm gonna field of ruin something and I go with a snap path He is attacking into my Celestial Colonnade. So I'm going to let that resolve. Got some better stuff to do. Yeah, I expected a corn to come down here. And although, of course, you do get another card, and sometimes you also just have to fake stuff and stuff and such, um, that's certainly something that he just drew off the top. Shadows for one. All right. So first off, I'm gonna go after that cavern.
I think I'm just going to attack with the Snapcaster. Getting the beats in. Could have, of course, also just blocked the uh, Matter Shaper. I might still do that next turn. So this, of course, also increases the likelihood of our opponent uh, drawing non-land cards. Oh, that is a pretty good one here. Because it untaps, yeah, this is even better. Now I'm going to leave it back just to um, block, protect my Teferi. But now it's near impossible for my opponent to still do something here. Could also balance that matter of shape up. But... And I think my opponent should see the writing on the wall. And now we're also just drawing really good. Can't complain, really. Also, he's forced to do something every turn, otherwise just go... Um, with a Snapcaster or Mage Charm. Actually, no, I still do have the snap. <clears throat> snap plus Arc Major Charm. But we are drawing a little bit too many lands here. But next turn we can attack with two colonnades, right? Yep. So. Um, don't really have a whole lot in this matchup. Not gonna lie. So probably wanna have the Supreme Verdict. And potentially not wanna have the North set, but let's have a look here at Matter Reshaper if that actually draws a court. Um, well, really, can I read this completely, please? No? Alright, so puts it in hand, doesn't draw a card, I assume. So I could be thinking about Elspeth, but I, at this point, I just think... Probably just want to have the two Supreme Verdicts here. Don't even know if I want to have those. I am mean, pretty slow, and oh, um, we're just gonna go the exact 60 cards and run back. This is not an extremely good hand, but we do have a field of ruin. And our opponent's on a mulligan, so I'm gonna keep. We do have a couple of redundant pieces anyway.
expedition map. Well, expedition map is already a little bit of a bummer because that probably means that he does have turns three Tron. Yep. Which I can't do anything about. And that also means that That was also not great. Yeah, it's going to be a, a long hustle to get back into this game. Aldrazi Tron, typically not good at finding turn 3 Tron, but... Occasionally it just happens. And of course, worst case scenario here is... Him just playing... A Thonotia. Best case scenario would be a corn or chalice. And this I'm fine with. So he's searching for Noza's mine. So I assume that's the cord or that's the land that I also want to go after. Takes and the Teferi. I just can't let him have Tron there. Um. Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. How unlucky is that? How fucking unlucky is that? That is so fucking unlucky. Insane. Yeah, Mystic Forge, like, I need to get rid of it again. And then hope that... I can opt into... A Terminus here, draw an additional card. Or just... Um... Or just play the Snapcaster Mage to get rid of the corn. I'll threaten the corn. Can't get rid of it anyway. Come on, Terminus. If I ever needed you... Well, last game was already pretty... Pretty clutch. Uh, Path would, of course, also be pretty good. No. Ah. Alright, take a nine. If he gets a walking ballista here, then... Okay.
So if I go play the Jace, bounce the Thornals here, I'm gonna draw a card. Um, but then he will attack the Jace with the Re Reality Smasher, and that's probably gonna cost me. So how can I better do this? What if? I snap opt, try to find another land, block the thought notes here, um, survive the turn, threaten the corn, well I can't really threaten the corn, can't do everything here. Well, what we're looking for is either a land. Uh, I'm the worst kind of land. Um. Because otherwise, of course, like with the sensor still in hand. If I add an untapped land, um, then. I could just go, uh, Jay's put back the Termini on top. Sensor into it. And for that, sensor is actually amazing. And there we go. Another mine. The third mine. Alright, so he's looking for action here. He knows that he has to kill me this turn. And potentially found something. Now he's looking to find a reality smasher. And again, of course, we would be able to also... This cavern of salts into that. Alright. So how many odds do we have? Um, not a whole lot. Let me count them, not a whole lot. No, but we do have an untapped land source, which we still have plenty, but it can't be a f cannot be a flooded strand. Everything else is fine. All right, so play is play the Jays. <laughs> Shit. Now, if I play the Jays for what else do I actually have? I have Mystic Sanctuary as an out, yeah. Draw cards. No, I, I, shit. This is what I feared. Like we probably find land, but it probably won't be the land that we need. Ah, we could have gone there here. That is really, really sad. Yeah. Play to our outs. Had everything that we needed in hand, but uh, couldn't get there. Hmm. Mm. I still think it's fine. So since I uh, need the Field of Ruin to make white mana, I'm gonna 
start with the Mystic Sanctuary here. So I'll decide on whether or not I'm going to go with yeah, the Field of Ruin next turn, depending on um, whether or not he does have two Tron pieces here already. So I'm um, going to go with the Mine again. I do not give a fuck. Here I have more Mines again then I'm gonna be really pissed all right once upon a time actually pretty good for us here I think the ferry at some point will also come in handy but it's not his time yet So what I want to do, what I want to do, what I really want to do, is probably going after that Eldrazi Temple, right? Because that at least, still leaves the Augmented Charm. And next turn, then I can go with something else. All right, that should be. All his basics, I think. Maybe he has one more. But it also didn't look like he did have, yeah, Veil of Summer here. And therefore, I'm fine with this. And the. Flooded Strand, of course, is being pretty clutch. Because I can't put the... Cr well, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can't put the Archmage Sean back on top. And then draw it with the Teferi. think that is my best option here. Also, just in case my opponent brought Veil of Summers to the uh, to the game here, um, then I do have more, just more options right now. Do I care about the Chalice? No, not right now. At some point, I probably care about it, um, but I do. I know he has a meta reshaper, so we're gonna counter that. I think. No, we're gonna let that happen. If you attack my Teferi, that's fine. I still have a couple of Terminis, so Manor Ship is one of the least problematic permanents on the battlefield right now. If we were to draw into one of those. But 
Well, we have to start drawing some uh, haymakers. Because uh, up until now, we've just been playing with a lot of lands. So I might be inclined to actually go with non Major Charm drawing two cards here. All right, so I assume that shit. Worst possible outcome here. Oh, the absolute worst possible outcome. Not drawing anything like whatsoever. And the following three cards. Just lands. But I had to take the opportunity, I think. Also, due to the fact that uh, Yeah, now I need to start blocking here. There's no way around this. Sadly, I also don't have Mystic Sanctuaries up anymore. Mark of Ruska is actually pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So come on pretty close here to actually just drawing cards. We do have fields, of course, to stop that at some point, but it seems to be a long way up until that point. Okay. Interesting decision, like, which with which I'm super fine. All right, snap does help. It definitely does help. Snap does help. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So our opponent's drawing additional cards now all the fucking time. Up until we have a field. But it will also cost him velocity. All right, drawing cards with Arc of Oraska. And of course, if he manages to get to Tron, then we really do have a problem. Um, let me see. So now I probably have to get rid of the Chalice. So it's going to be Snap Bounce Draw. So this is just going to be a tapped Hollow Fountain and then... I cannot believe this. Yeah, let's discard the islands. So now we could start trying to raise him, of course. To 
fairy is actually a good card. That is actually a good card. The other Teferi is also not too bad. Playing that one tapped. What the fuck? Oh, that is annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So now I guess we're attacking in with that snap caster. Now we're gonna go to fairy bounce snap. Play this one tapped. Still haven't really drawn any of our powerful cards. Like we've drawn one big Teferi in almost 30 cards, one Cryptic. And there should be a Planthora of good cards still common. And one of those, like, at least a couple of those should be able to um, equalize or just straight up deal with Ark of Oraska, which is currently the most problematic card in here. And if nothing happens, I think I'm just going to go cycle a couple of sensors. Hmm. So what are the chances like that we draw something good off the top? think I'm gonna go play the snap, uh, target the Archmage Charm, and that, then just let it resolve. Because I have three, like two here, one of the sensors probably takes one. Um, plus additional draw, plus the Celestial Colonnade as a blocker. So, yeah. Should be able to get somewhere at some point. Of course, if he plays the Chalice of the Void, I probably have to go after it. Or after this. Yeah, so I'm going to cycle now because we could also draw into a land. Great. Not what I meant. Yeah, I'm going to cycle next turn. Bah! Do we actually have more lands in our deck? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, now he's, of course, in hyper mode here. With that Og of Araska online and additional things happening, things are starting to real look really bad. Not gonna lie. 
all this dust. Sure. Don't care. If you're attacking, I'm blocking, dude. 100% blocking. All right, Narset should be able to at least find us something that is valuable. So now I need to get rid of the arch of Ofoxa. And then I'm playing Narset and I'm drawing cards. One of which is a Teferi. So everything but a Reality Smasher would be fine with me. That is not fine though. Only got two more cards in hand. Not all this dust, dude. For real. That was so insanely clutch for our opponent there. Now I can't play the Snapcaster Mage, of course, anymore. Which means I might be fucked. Never mind. So we don't have two fairies anymore. Let's see, what what do I actually have in my deck yet, um, left? So I do have one Field of Ruin. I do have two Jaces, four Termini, although we're down to 24 in cards. Two Snapcaster Mages. One Colonnade. Yeah, I don't think I can just... Uh, bone straw here. Okay, second cryptic's good. And this means that we can also loop until eternity, basically. Alright, yeah. If he doesn't do anything this turn, then I'm gonna go jump in with a couple of Snapcasters. Bouncing with something and then um, throwing a, a couple of cards with Automated Charm. That was so obvious that I was gonna draw that.
Could of course also go just go cryptic command, bounce throw again, play the opt. I think that's actually better because it basically gives me the same amount of cards, but I can filter a little. All right, so there's our basically last win condition uh, aside from uh, Chase. Oh, do want to have that? Don't have any fetchable targets anymore. And therefore, that's just not a thing. Where's Jay's? Where's Narset? Come on, guys. Narset, of course, is also good out to um, Arch, Arch of Oraska. Well, it makes it a little clunky. It just doesn't stop it, of course. For disease. Shell is on three. There's, uh, aside from, I don't think there's anything that I want to stop on three. There's one Narset left in my deck. And there is Augmented Charm, but I already used all of them multiple times. Um, yeah, this could go and fetch a Ghost Quarter, which I would be concerned with. Could also fetch a a Cavern of Souls. Do I care? I have the Terminus. I think... Do I care? Is there even anything? Yeah, well, I can go... with that uh, Force Negation. So that is fine. Another good thing is that Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Never mind. That was bad. I was like, yeah, there's nothing that can actually hit me here. Um, yeah, and this time I'm going to go counter and return. So, let me see. I cannot use that. Could attack for 8. What do I lose against then? Um, I can't also really put... I think I actually cannot, like 5, 7. So this would be 4. I save 2 of these, right? I still have snap. Uh, snap cryptic plus an additional land potentially. Therefore, I think I'm not going to play it here. <clears throat> Let's see if it goes for a cavern or a ghost quarter. Goes for a ghost quarter, then I do still have. Oh, it goes with the Cavern of Souls. And this, of course, is a little better for me because now I have multiple ways of getting lethal. And I think there is not a single yeah, card that I'm scared of here off the top. Can't you see he's the man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Props to the guy who uh, recognized the song, of course.
Yeah, do you know that your last card in hand is a cavern of soul? Like you should just shouldn't be able to do anything here. And there's another one. All right, GGs. All right, welcome back to round number four. After starting off, we are with a 3-0. I do like a couple of things about this hand. If we're playing against Croxa deck, I can discard the Terminus um, and put it back on top down the road with a Mystic Sanctuary. And otherwise, I do have good cards for turns two and following. That might change due to the birds. So I don't hope that our opponent is playing some random Blood Moon in here as well. So that I can indeed fetch one on basics. Nowadays you can never be safe. So good job by our opponent playing around a sensor here. I think sensor is pretty dead in this matchup, therefore I'm just gonna cycle it here if we're lucky lucky. Um Looky, looky. Yeah, not what I meant. So, bouncing that one. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't have access to both yet. Because otherwise, I won't be able to uh, actually counter the card. Like the second part of the combo. And of course, we still need a bit until uh, Terminus is up. It was a little double unfortunate there with the sensor, but that can happen. So yeah, our opponent has to think about like playing around a Supreme Verdict, for instance. No, he doesn't do it. No. And this is a huge issue. A huge fucking issue. So now I have to go after the Gavin account Township because that's otherwise a straight up win condition here, which means we have to hope that he has to rely on some non creature card in his hand in order to get back into this. So you can definitely drop the beat here. How many search cards do you have? I know, Gavin Econ Township, of course, wouldn't have been actually a win condition there. So I probably should have should not have done that due to the fact, of course, that he uh, does not produce white mana. All right, don't care about that. All 
All right, so opponent apparently uh, looking for the actual win condition here. A actual win condition. That is not going to happen though. And I'll do whatever. If you win, you win. Of course. Combo with multiple backups in hand, sure. Why not? So... I'll keep Sensor in, probably gonna get rid of Force of Negation and the rest remains the same. Not a very aggressive matchup, therefore I don't want Elspeth. And I have to say, I really don't like her as a sideboard option. She's really, she's really good in the main board, but in the sideboard, not so much. So our opponent's probably also playing the Heliot, Spike Feeder, you know, all that jazz. Because I think they're also just putting all of that together nowadays. I think there were so many hoops that our opponent had to jump through in order to uh, actually get there. Dude, this is... Um, this is gonna take some development to get there. Narset might be helpful. Both in terms of us finding something, but also against cards like Tireless Striker, etc. Uh, let's get rid of this just so that we can play Norset if we find another mana source here without having to fear that no, we're just dead. <clears throat> Same thing as every year. Oh, come on. Unreal. So no, opponent doesn't seem to have too much going stuff going on right now. This is oh, fuck. 
this shit. Fourth draw in a row. No land. Finally. Of course you could have a um, thingy. It could just win here, straight up, it's possible. Right, so apparently opponents committing into the potential supreme verdict here just by, because of I don't know. So now that we have Jace online potentially Teferi as well. We can actually ensure that Knight of the Rel Inquiry. Do you have more plays or don't you have more plays? Does have more plays apparently. So, um, we could of course go with the Jace here. Well, we should be finding a land w within three cards. Not the right land, though. <laughs> ah. All right, so that on top, and actually, and that on top, and then I'm playing a land, but well, it was neither a fetch land nor a plains. But at least the Knight of the Rallying Query should not kill us here this turn. Therefore, I think it hasn't seen uh, Terminus yet, right? So this might come as a surprise. Oh, as we figure it out, we have to...
All right. So now that all that jazz is gone, we could play the other Nor set, but I think it's fine if we don't and just keep counter magic up. And I think what really got our uh, actually it probably does have. Yeah, I'm gonna let this resolve. I assume that our opponent does have um, Veil of Summer in hand because otherwise, like all this just does make doesn't add up. You know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, let's have a look first. So we could put Narset on top, but I'm gonna put it on bottom. Cycle this and. Get rid of that one. Uh, now we're finally back in the game here. Our opponent must have more awkward hands. Like... Still four cards in hand, there's certainly not a whole lot of lands in there. So what the fuck do you have, man? Um, Mystic Century? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. So need to draw first with uh, the fairy. Sender comes in handy. Putting terminus back on top. Let's go snap, target the path so that he cannot eat it with the scavengers. Thus saving another path. And what I really want to do here is, so I expect my opponent to have lots of Bears of Summer in hand. At least one or two or three. Because this is certainly not normal. And I want to tilt him so much about the cards that he does have in hand that he is indeed boarding them out for the next game. Does have more basics though. Let's see if he does have... well... Actually, let's go with this first. Opponent conceded. And I think so far this is fine, this is good. I uh, don't want to bring in Elspeth still because of the scavengers spam that our opponent did. And with the rest of the deck I think I'm fine. Could also see on the draw actually going with Force of Negation instead of a Dovin's Veto. Reason being that we're tapping out a lot and I don't want to lose just by tapping out to a Teferi or a Jace. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep. It's risky. 
but that's how we roll. Night of the URL inquiry. All right, so I think Missing Sanctuary. And then we're going to path the knight and just bounce whatever else he's playing. And if he ain't playing anything, then I'm not bouncing anything. Uh, I'm not pathing anything. I'm just going to bounce that knight. Another knight, all right. Let's get rid of that one then. So I really want to have to ferry down, um, mainly because a second hollow fountain is good because then we have a double path. Uh, mainly because I now can tap out freely without expecting to end of turn being uh, caught by a court of calling, obviously. Yep, company. Druid and Vizier. Doesn't have haste though. Oh, and although the thoughts are, of Thoughtseize, of course, is good, it will not protect the combo here. It probably has to go after the Snapcaster Mage. I would imagine. To mm -hmm. fairy. So I could be ballsy here due to the Teferi on the battlefield. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go play the hold fountain. No, I'm going to shock just because it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to pass the turn, try to opt into a Terminus. And since you cannot respond to it... This is amazing. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, you can't play anything. Nice try, though. And now, if we can engineer in a situation where either doesn't have anything on the battlefield or just one or two threats with Jace and Path to Exile up, then from there we can just climb up and start bouncing all the creatures that he does have. The strongest of creatures, the Noble Hierarch. Actually, really strong. Not even kidding. So yeah, opponent doesn't have a whole lot of cards anymore. Um, 
we are just going to go and troll a little bit. Could have also gone with a Teferi, but I think the Jace is actually better here. Um, I yeah, don't want to have that. I think the planes is okay. Actually, I uh, should have put the Jace into my hand just in case I need to counter a non creature spell here. Otherwise, because, yeah, that was a little sloppy there. Noble Hara coming in with the beats. It's a very interesting. At this point, I would have expected. Okay. So quite a bit of stuff now. So I think I'm just going to bounce, but then the f <laughs> I do not like it. So I cannot really protect the Teferi right now. And I don't really have anything good on top of my library as well. Could have, of course, also gone with a Field of Ruin and then tried to opt into a Terminus. I think that would have also been a good play. Well, let's see what's going to happen here first. Now, I'm going to let this resolve as sad as it is for our Jace. Because, I, as I said, I want to have my uh, Teferi protected, and the Teferi is more important to me than the Jace is. Damn it. Close one, but next turn we can still terminate, so that's fine. That is unfortunate. I would say. Of 
Or is this a fake out? Our opponent can untap it whenever he wants. Therefore. So since I do have the terminus, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you win? No, we shouldn't be able to, right? Yeah, this is fine. And then I have a path as an additional out. Yep, that's fine. And from this point, position on, it of course, gets really, really complicated for our opponent. <clears throat> but it doesn't appear to be also the spy fila hedio combo. At least we haven't seen it. Let's draw cards. Norset is decent. Hmm. I actually don't want either of those, but so it goes. Yeah, all right. 4-0 and off to the next round. All right, we'll come back to round number five. And we're leading here. Do like the sensor hand into a potential Norset or Teferi. Crazy picture there for our opponent. So, already something snow covered, some shit. Probably banned Snowblade or whatever. So that's a little bit confusing here. Why our opponent does not do anything with the Noble High Rock on turn one. I'm being a little bit cautious. Could have also played the Snapcaster out, of course. But this is this is wild. I'm not not sure what's going on. It's definitely also keeping counter magic up here. So we're just gonna try and look for more lands. Which we accomplish.
So it feels like a neuralist, but a neuralist should not do just nothing. Wall of Blossoms? Okay. Still no clue what's going on. So we continuously keeping up three mana, uh, which makes me think Spellqualler. Yeah, I, I assume that there's a Spellqualler indeed. It won't be going after the opt. I do want to have an additional mana source, so I think this is fine. So let's see, if it is indeed a spell queller, we can counter it with a sensor. I'm just not sure what the next best thing is that our opponent could throw at us. Now oh, let's see. Because sensor of course also gets just gets worse over time. Okay. And pitched a Teferi Time Reveler. And again, so there's definitely something that he's keeping up. Oh. Now I think I know, or might know, this might be this Band Red Snowblade Valakut deck. With just a Band deck with counter magic, etc. and Rides of the Elysium plus Valakut. And that's probably going to be another Teferi here. Yeah, I thought so. So we're going to cycle this uh, to draw into the opt, since we can't do anything about this. Um, Jace might be okay, but I think that he does have a spell color still. So I'm I'm fine with this. And eternal witness. All right. All of this is pretty random. So yeah, he's definitely playing his stuff there. So let me see. So because of the force of negation, I think I'm trying to get the Teferi down as well. Which one do I prefer to get down? The Norset or the Teferi? Certainly can't counter both. I think that Norse is actually pretty good in the matchup. But we gotta throw something on the bus. I 
think our magic charm could go uh, deep down the road. That's interesting. That is fucking interesting. So he didn't have another blue source in hand to utilize it. That is wild. So I'm also just going to get tick up so that it doesn't die. Even if he bounces my snap. And at least we're t turning off that uh, force of negation in his hand. Terminus is pretty dead here, though. <laughs> At least the Miracle is dead. Unless the Miracle overrides... Um, Teferi, which I don't believe. Yeah, so still no clue what's going on. Also, weird composition of lands here with Canopy Vista and Prairie Stream. But at least now, if he bounces my snap. Alright. Um, I actually want to have another blue source here. So I have Cryptic plus Ahmed Charm next turn. Alright, so opponent just trying to redraw a couple of cards. And at this point, like at some point we need to draw a terminus to get out of this. All right, so we do have cryptic plus three, four, three, one, plus potentially a uh, so I think I'm going to return this. And just take out the Teferi to keep it alive. And then counter did the Teferi when it comes back down. Another field of ruin, sure. And then potentially just get rid of the Eternal Witness. So our opponent definitely has a couple of dead cards in, in his hand right now. If, if he's not replaying that Teferi, um, I'm definitely going to go and uh, draw two cards with that Armage Charm, I think. Another Witness. For real. Yeah, that is fucking annoying. That is fucking annoying. Because also, at some point, I really need to 
start doing stuff with my Teferi. It's gonna lose to that Ice Fang Hole at some point. I just need to counter it. There's no way I'm letting that resolve. Also, like mainly because of the shenanigans that he has himself with all the shit. So it doesn't seem like he has more basics. Alright, so Ephemerates will draw him a card, but it does, of course, just go away next upkeep, so it's a 1 for 1, which is fine. Yes. That is a good one. Now we can actually get back into the game. Well, I think I'm just ticking this up, right? It could be ticking down on that Ice Fang a little bit. Uh, that is also not super useful. So apparently we're playing against Soul Order here. And at this point we're just so far ahead that I doubt that our opponent can actually get back into the game here. One, two, three, four. Um, yes, this and this back. Then I'm taking this up. Then we're this and this. What did I do? I could have, of course, miracled. Um, don't know why I chose to not do that. But uh, this is, of course, fine as well. I think that should seal the deal here. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So Supreme Rigs gone in. I think Sensor is alright. Dovin's Veto is a card that we definitely want to have. Uh, Termin is good. 
But the most important cards here are actually Norset and Teferi. I think I do want to have the Jace. Do I want to have the Jace? What could they be boarding? I'm gonna cut critics and put an Elspeth and go this way. Don't think there are individual cards that I do want to counter with cryptic where it makes sense. And at the worst, I'm just running into uh, um, Vades of Summer, which I'm sure he's playing, because everybody plays it. Force of Negation, very important card here to um, prevent the turn 3 to Ferry. Also exile it so that he can't get it back. Interesting that he's starting off with. I uh, oh, can't. It's a primatic vista, of course. Interesting. Opponent not doing anything here um, might mean that he does have a nice fan quarrel in hand. <clears throat> but if that were the case, then. Yep. I'm okay with it. Basically. Of course, getting Narset down is a priority, but I can't really afford to have him counter it and then play multiple other spells. Sadly, no. Shit. Uh, let's discard both Termini, which is kind of annoying, but we love you. Could also discard an Elspeth, but that's still pretty far off. And we still do have uh, Supreme Verdict, of course. Cannot believe that. We did not draw. A land there. That of course really makes the whole endeavor way worse. Still gonna draw two cards. Yeah, I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. This cannot be real. Alright, uh, let's go with Narset. He's gonna counter it anyway. Hopefully through a spell quarter. Nope. So that we're probably running into um, a Teferi here. And then we might be... Then we really might have a problem. Yeah, we're always fine. 
I know it is a card, I don't know, man. It is good. But I don't think it ever does what you want it to do. Right, so it doesn't have a Teferi in hand, apparently. Alright, not a force of negation, which was what I was con most concerned about here. Um, because, of course, Elspeth, pretty good from the graveyard. And despite the Uru gaining him some life, etc., um, I don't really mind it. Soul Herders, wait. Wait, okay, good. So now I have to go after Soul Herder, right? <clears throat> yeah. Because he's only got one basic uh, land left. So it doesn't profit from our future uh, path to exiles anymore. So you cannot play Elspeth yet. It costs six mana. And next turn, I do have the ability to do to go to fairy plus force of negation. At some point, he has to play the aura. Probably running into a Bale of Summer, yes. Card that is just fucked up. It really is. Alright, so he's potentially bouncing that Ice Fang Coil to replay it. Following Oracle, another Ice Fang Wall. Okay, so let's play the Teferi out here. <laughs> Delay. Sure. Yeah, I have to do it now. I uh, could have also attacked the Teferi, of course, but he did have Ice Fang Quad online. So now he can, I know he does have two of those, which is also very, very annoying. Another delay. Cool. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of coming back here. I 
I think the only way I'm getting back into this game here is um, by forcing the trades with the Ice Fang Quadles. It's very such a miserable card. It's so miserable. Okay, so this is all right because I do have another path. Okay, so don't care about wall blossoms, don't really care about the euro. Only thing I really care about is um, getting through with that colonnade. Delay, of course, only a good card if you also have access to Teferi, otherwise it's just really shit. So let's see. All right, we're not coming back from this. And now I think I'm taking out the Yelspeth, and I'm just gonna go with Rest in Peace. Because I um, actually don't care anymore. <laughs> it's got a lot of regular interactions. Uh, with Uro, with uh, Eternal Witness. And therefore, I think getting rid of the graveyard is actually correct. And of course, he did have Veil of Summer, so bringing in uh, the. Not a great hand, one has to be clear about that. And yeah, our opponent can of course mulligan aggressively to a perfect hand, a turn two or something uh, Deferi, due to the fact that the deck is very easily able to uh, generate card advantage. It's really the most important thing here in this matchup. 
not to let a Teferi resolve. Everything else basically trivial. For us, also Norset is pretty good. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> So I'm going with the Field of Ruin here because I actually haven't countered anything with the sensor yet. And therefore, I might be able to just uh, trick him into playing something that he then regrets. Yeah, I'm going to counter this, obviously, because he's... Um, Short on resources. And another terminus. Great. So this turn, I do not have the ability to go with Nog Major Charm. Therefore, I'm just going to do this. Now, I think the best play, despite Teferi being a thing, is still going to come down with the chase here. Because it should be hard for him to deal with it, unless he's forcing it. She does, and he's spending a Teferi. So yes, um, that wasn't good, but at least the Teferi is gone. Hopefully it doesn't have two again. But the uh, rule of equivalent exchange there, like it was, was okay from our perspective. I think I'm gonna go with a white source here. Already have four blue. And you should have one more basic and nothing else. So this is also, is, yeah. It's the last basic, basically. And then, end of turn, I'm gonna go try to draw cards with Augmented Charm. And then uh, play the Norse set. How good is Sensor here? Sensor is not super great, but he needs to have a counter spell plus a Veil of Summer here. Yeah, honestly, I expect to run into a Veil, but can't really do anything about it. Like, I, w I need to get this Norse set down. If he does have a Veil, then that's just how it goes. Did 
delay. Okay. <clears throat> We're looking for that Teferi to get it down ASAP. Uh, to prevent our Norset from coming, of course. And this appears to be... <laughs> this is so unreal. This is so fucking unreal, man. Fucking bitch. I uh, should have responded to that silence with a uh, snapcaster mage. I couldn't, of course, because of the Teferi. <clears throat> Yeah. So fucking lucky, man. Pisses me off. Also, I mean, without the Teferi, like, the other spells just don't do anything. <laughs> you have more counter spells. So insane. So fucking insane, man. So wasteful. Yep. Cannot stop this from not coming down. Motherfucker. 
All right, so very unlikely that our Jace dies next turn. Therefore, I'm just going to draw cards. Um, put this one back on top, and put this one back on top. <clears throat> so this also means that he indeed does not have a counter spell in hand right now. But well, he's drawing three cards, so that might change at any point. Ephemerates, okay. What the fucking joke, man. And now he's fucking silence locking me. Yes, so um, at this point, I think it is not possible for me to actually win this. Especially because that Eternal Witness will get back an Ephemerate, which will get targeted by the Ephemerate. Uh, 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 and I get to do anything. So... Still gonna return it. Yeah, well, so the crucial turn here was just when he found that Teferi. Otherwise, I don't think he would ever come back in this game. Not attacking the Jays. Interesting. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> And as I said, like without that Teferi, at the right moment in time, none of his spells do anything. Silence is just a bad card. Delay is just a bad card. But anyhow, can't do anything about it. GG's.